So I said R, RMS, that root mean square of an AC is the steady or DC current which when flowing through a circuit for a given time period produces the same heat as produced by the AC current flowing through the same circuit for the same time period. I said RMS value is also called effective value or virtual value of an AC current. III says define reactance. Define reactance. What's reactance? Huh? Reactants can be defined as the opposition to the flow of current. Now listen, it is a defined inductor reactance. We, we, we mentioned reactants on that two things. That was inductor circuit only and capacitor circuit only. When it came to that mixture, we call it what there? Impedance. So they say define reactants. What's reactants? Reactants is simply the opposition to the flow of current in an in a or in an inductor or capacitor circuit only, that's it. The opposition to the flow of current in an inductor or capacitor only circuit, that's it. Let's do the patterns. The pattern solution given beside an alternating current source Delivers a voltage of 240 volts RMS. Please listen. 240 volts RMS. So the first thing give me this word there. V R O M S. How many there? 240 volts. Please take, take note of this. V R M S 240 volts. They set to a 300 watts per, of course. Um, normally we measure per in watts. 300 watts. Measure power in watts when it comes to electricity. Hot resistor. Calculate I the peak voltage of the source. I so you find peak voltage. We said peak voltage is what there? Eh? V naught. What's the formula? We said V R M S. Abi, is equal to what there? V naught over what? One two. Alright, so if you have to find peak uh, voltage from here, get V naught. So V naught peak voltage is equal to root two times V R M S. That's equal to root 2 times this value is 240 so please what do you have v naught is equal to root 2 times 240 what do you have Uh, from Ohm's law, we said V is equal to I R. 
That means that P is equal to I. V itself is I R. That means P is equal to I times I. I squared R. So there's an alternative. There's an alternative to what's it called? To R, which is I squared R. This formula still cannot work because there is still no current. So instead, let's replace current. If I make I here, sum for the formula, it will include dividing here by R, dividing here by R, this cancels this. So R is equal to V over R. If I bring this value into this equation, it means that P is equal to I is V over R times V itself. And that gives you what there? V squared over R. You can use this. You can use this. So recall, Record that P is equal to V, please in this case, look at it. In this case, the V you use is V R M S. Because there are two Vs here. You have V R M S, you have V P. Or are you using R M S please? We call V R M S squared all over R. Um, find the what? Resistance is one here. These two can swap. It's my point correct. So R goes here, yeah, have that the resistance, R is equal to V R M S squared all over the R. And that's equal to V R M S is uh, 240 becomes 240 all squared all over P. P is 300 in watts. So I have that R is equal to, please give me final answer. 192. Two watts, what's the unit? One nine two. Oh, so you have this. So that's your answer. What's this thing in there? Mm -hmm. I I I says um, the root mean square value of the current true resistor. Root mean square value of current. True resistor. So how do you get that? How do you get that? I R M S is equal to. Is equal to. I not. Do you have I not here? Do you have I R M S? How? You have to find it now. So how do you find it? You have to find I R M S. Root means square value for it. So I R MS. How do you get this? What do you do? Huh? So we said P. We said if V uses what that? V RMS. I use what that? I RMS. So P is equal to I RMS multiplying V RMS. Uh, this will work. Uh, let's let's do something. Let's do something. There are two ways for this. Let's see if this works. Give us some benefits. Let's see some lines there. You know that V is equal to I R. So V R M S is equal to I. RMS times R. So that's it. Uh, get this one here. Divide by R. Divide that by R. Divide that by R. So I have that I RMS is equal to V RMS all over R. That's equal to V RMS. Uh, what value? 240. 240 all over R is what there? 192. So I R M S. What do you have? 1.25 in what there? Eh? Ampere. So 1.25 amperes. I think that's, that's like everything. Please try try to P equal to I V. Right. So even when you use the formula say P 
is equal to I RMS times V RMS such that I RMS is equal to P all over V RMS that will give you uh, P 300 all over V RMS 240 you get what that? Yeah? 1.25 and 5 so any of these formulas can work either you use this one here from Ohm's law or this concept from back in your box. Alright, CI. CI says write down the expression for reactance of capacitor. So reactance of capacitor we said is XC. That's equal to what there? 1 over 2 pi FC. That's your answer. That's the expression for it. Next one says CII says express the angular frequency omega in terms of normal frequency f. The answer is that omega is equal to what there? 2 pi f. So that's your expression. So this is the answer to those questions. That's all.